Now, there's lots of different things that we could say about what worship is and how we engage in worship. But for the sake of what's happening in this story, I think we could simply say that worship starts with being a response. A response specifically to who God is. Not even so much about what God has done, because in this moment, yes, God has sent this baby, but even in this moment, this baby hasn't done anything, but is worthy of worship. Again, not because of what he has done, but simply because of who he is. That he is the king of kings, the true king of kings, the true Lord of lords over all creation in a humble, simple, stable. Worship is also about offering, about giving. How many times do we leave church and we reflect on how the service went and our response is, I just didn't really get anything out of it. I didn't connect with what, I mean, the songs that they sang were like my least favorite worship songs. Like I wasn't inspired by anything that guy said. Like I just didn't connect. I didn't get anything out of it, right? Like, so if that's our mindset, we leave church evaluating church based on how I felt about how it went, perhaps we're not asking the right question as we enter in. Are we coming in with a consumeristic mindset or are we coming to contribute, to specifically contribute to the worship that is taking place? Am I coming simply to receive? And you will receive, right? God has lots to offer, lots to say. He, he has encouragement for you. But if our main motivation is come just to just come and receive, it means we're missing the aspect of worship. It's also about coming to give, to offer. And at some level, that offering should be sacrificial in nature. 